Hello everyone and welcome to episode 9 of Stoneblock. How are you doing? So, Flux Electrum, our main problem. Um, we made this farm and even though it's fast, it's not fast enough. We get one block every 5 seconds. So I came up with a solution. So how do we make Flux Electrum? The first thing we're going to need is 5 pieces of redstone and we need half a bucket of destabilized redstone. Electrum itself has an EMC, but pulverized Electrum does not, so we need to pulverize it. You cannot do it in a crusher because this is a thermal expansion thing and you can only do it in a pulverizer. Then we're going to need to infuse the Electrum blend with the destabilized redstone in order to get the fluxed Electrum blend. And finally, we need to combine it with a sand inside an induction smelter in order to get the ingot. So this thing has four steps and this is the longest one, making the destabilized redstone. Of course, this is also relatively slow, but this is the worst one. So imagine this device. And this is what I made in between episodes. So we have 36 magma crucibles making destabilized redstone at a very fast speed. We have seven pulverizers, seven fluid transposers and seven induction smelters as well as a crafter from RF tools, which makes us the blocks. So with this setup, we're getting a block every second. And it has been running for maybe half an hour or so since I finished it. And if we look, we have 11,000 blocks of fluxed electro. That is great. I'm very happy with this. The way this works is also relatively easy. Um, I have energy condensers here. One of them makes Electrum, the other one makes sand. They're hooked up to an ender chest with emeralds, which is up there. Then uh, it's just item conduits and filters. Uh, there is also another energy condenser here, which makes redstone. And the rest is fairly simple. It's very laggy, but um, the results are good. I'm happy. The next thing that I have to look into is the Neutronium. The Infinity Catalyst does have an EMC, so we don't need much. But in order to make the Infinity Ingot, we're going to need a lot of Neutronium. And we need a lot of these Infinity Ingots. So right now we have 15,000 piles of Neutron. This might look a lot, but it's actually not because you need 9 of them to make one nugget and... I think we can make around 200 ingots with this. Not even maybe that, uh, I'm not sure. So let's just check. So that 15,000 gave me two stacks, almost three stacks. We need much more, we need thousands of these. So my idea is that we're going to make more neutron collectors and of course I'm not going to make all of them, we're just EMC, we need two stacks. We already have 128 neutron collectors hooked up to item conduits which goes into an ender chest. I made 128 more and we're going to double our production. I guess it's still in one chunk? Yeah, okay. So I just need to continue it a little bit more. The good thing is we can use a builder's wand. Okay, so these are 256 Neutronium collectors covering one chunk, I think so at least. Yeah, so it's 16 by 16, everything goes into an ender chest and we have doubled our production and we're not getting any Neutrons. Uh, oh, they're still making it. Okay, we have to wait. It's been 5 minutes later and we have 814 piles of neutrons. Oh, we were getting more. I think it's the next harvest. Oh, that's good. So we will have around 900. Well, we're getting them faster, so I'm not complaining. The thing that I'm complaining about is that I was looking at the quest and if we come to power generation, we need to make the solar arrays from environmental tech and we need to make the tier 6. So the problem with environmental tech is that uh, it takes a lot of time to get tier 6 crystals. 
The first one has an EMC, so making the uh, ore miners and resource miners is not a problem. But getting the crystals is going to be very slow until we get erodium crystals, because then we would be able to make the lens which gives us crystals. And I cannot find it for some reason. Um, I think it's with this. Oh yeah, crystal lens. So we need six blocks per each lens. And this will give us a higher chance of getting crystals. So my idea is that I'm going to prepare a area and we're going to have a lot of ore miners and resource miners to get mica and the crystals. I don't know where I should do that, but let me think and I'll be right back. So from the middle of our base where we spawned, I dug down to level 8. And now I have a builder from RF Tools and it's going to dig a huge area for us. I believe down there should be the void. So if we put the void miners, it should not be a problem, I guess. There's no bedrock. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be creepy. So um, I guess you should start. And I just stay here with a torch. Nothing's happening. This place was extremely dark, so I decided to make some night vision potions. Um, I'm imagining that I will have 8 ore miners and resource miners in total, maybe 2 resource miners and 6 ore miners. Um, there are 9 chunks, one of them is the one that I'm standing on, which I'm not going to put anything here right now. And the 8 surrounding chunks, I will put a quantum entangler porter and then I will go and make the controllers. So I'll be right back. I already have everything from environmental tech on auto crafting, if I can find it, yeah, here. So I made 6 void ore miner controllers, 2 resource miner controllers and I did not check how many structure frames or I don't know these structure panels or lenses I'm going to need so I made a gazillion. Let's go down there and set them up. We put the controller here and start right clicking. Are you done? Yep, this one's done. And it's not going to be symmetrical, but we put the other one here, I guess, and the other six around it. Okay, so all eight of them are now complete, and I also made some mega torches in order to avoid having mobs here. Um, I also made these dread lamps, which does not allow passive mobs to spawn, so I hate bats. <laughs> we can get rid of them this way. I put them on four corners, and this should easily cover the entire area. Also, for these uh, resource miners, I thought I will use a white lens because I only want mica and uh, a white lens is the optimum lens for it. So I just switched them and I also brought a new channel on the ender, ender chest, so you forgot to disable them. Nice. <laughs> uh, we're going to get a lot of junk. But I will be voiding everything except mica and the crystals because we don't need anything from here. Okay, so I set up some filters. This is the ender chest that we're using for the ore miners and the resource miners. So everything goes into this chest and then I have an advanced filter here and I am accepting only the crystals and mica. This has a higher priority, it has priority of 10 and this is minus 10. So everything will first try to go inside our main ender chest which goes into our ME system and if not, they will be trashed and voided. Uh, we don't need any resources from this, we just need crystals. And so far we only have one erodium. This is going to be painful. <laughs> So getting a rhodium will take a very long time and I think what I should do is to AFK a little bit. So I'm going to work, I just leave the computer on and wait for items. Alright guys, the last AFK session was a bit longer than I expected because I got sick and um, I forgot to turn off the computer when I came back from work. So right now we have 57,000 blocks of Flux Electrum. 
we have double the amount that we needed. So I actually turned off all those machines and uh, now we can start making the singularity. And I think I'm going to use export buses from here. How many channels do you have? 25. Yeah, okay. I'll do it here. Okay, so I hooked it up to four export buses with speed upgrades and everything is being exported into this neutronium compressor. So far we have 3000 and this is keeping up. Um, I think while this is being prepared, I should start making the ultimate stew, which um, I didn't because I always thought that making the flux electron will take so much time that by that time I will have all the neutronium and I will have everything crafted. So um, how do we make this? Uh, there is nothing complicated in this, so I think I do it off camera and if I encounter something which is tricky or I don't know weird, uh, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, I just make this and uh, I'll bring you back. Did you know that a chorus fruit will make a noise when it grows? I also thought that since we don't need flux electron for anything else, we can use this one for draconium. So we will have a lot of draconium very soon. Everything is finally ready and the worst part is try making a bread. I dare you. That's the worst. So we have our flux singularity and one infinity catalyst. Great. We only need one because we can duplicate it. And this is going to take a very long time because um, I need more export buses. Okay, with the amount of neutronium we had, we can make 34 infinity ingots. I think this should be enough in order to make the Sword of the Cosmos and the World Breaker. Let me see if I have enough neutronium left uh, and we would be able to do that, I hope. Okay, it's enough. One Sword of the Cosmos. We were missing one infinity ingot, so I'm guessing now I would be able to make the world breaker. Inventory is too full. Why? It's not too full. And the world breaker. Yes! Um, I do not have enough neutronium to make the armor, but um, we need to think about that. So this guy is fortune 10 and I have one block of draconium. Um, how much will it give me? Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, that's nice. Also we have 189 erodium, so I don't know how many crystal lenses it will be. Um, I'm hoping six. No, of course not. <laughs> okay, three then, or maybe four. Let's do three. This episode so far has been the episode of AF King, and a bunch of things have happened since the last cutscene and it's been actually I think two days later. So I advanced a little bit more into Botania, I made the runic altar, I made the brewery and of course I made the terror steer armor because it helps me with the guardian of Gaia fight. This one is garbage, it does not give me knockback protection, this one does. Um, this is very neat, uh, I mean, I needed to make the night vision potions and with normal vanilla brewery, it uh, you just make one potion. So with this, you can make a potion which lasts uh, six times. That's amazing. So let me tell you how it works. You have to use alf glass in order to make these alf glass flasks and then you drop one on top of the brewery, you add the ingredients and you wait and you can use this six times it has a lot of potions and uh, well i needed this one mainly uh, so let's go and check what i did 
Oh, and for, I forgot, the reason that I can walk very fast is that I made the sash, I made the benevolent charm, I made the pendant, so I can swim in lava, I can walk very fast, I can jump three blocks, and if there is an explosion, uh, nothing will happen to me. It will absorb the explosion because of the benevolent charm, and it's very useful if you have creepers in the base. I can actually show it to you. So, here is the TNT. We lit it up, we stand next to it. As long as you have mana, you have nothing to worry about. Nothing happens. There has been a few changes here, so most of them are tier 2 right now. One of them is tier 3. Um, these crystal lenses were amazing, but originally I was using it wrong, because it makes sense to have a tier 2 than having lenses on all tier 1s. You get much more crystals and that was my mistake, because you get to have these speed modifiers and uh, yeah, they work much faster than a tier 1. So I managed to make it tier 3, which we are getting uh, tier 4 crystals. Also, I had to change the lens for this one to black lens because there is an item in environmental tech which you are going to need in order to make the speed upgrades. Uh, I'm not even going to try and read that. This one, London Delola. <laughs> uh, I forgot that we need these and I was voiding them. So if we go back to our filtering system, I made a small change. Um, I finished this by the way, here there is a sneaky block, we can jump down, there is a sneaky block here and if we come back to our filtering system, I added a mod, mod item filter because um, now we can just filter out anything which is from environmental tech rather than getting the crystals, putting them back in the filter, this does it automatically right now and uh, life is good and if I can get out of here would be nice. Another thing that I did is that I added another chunk of neutronium collectors. So right now we have 512 of them. And if we check how much neutronium we have, 54,000. I'm so happy. I thought what we should do is to also finish the Guardian of Gaia fight because we need to fight him six times. I did two times off camera, um, but we need the Ring of Odin. So far, I didn't get it yet. So I have the Antidote Charm, so the uh, Wither effect won't take place. I made the Thirsty Armor and it will help me with knockback and we have the Sword of the Cosmos. So this will be a very fast fight. And he's done. Are you the Ring of Odin? And he's done again. So, uh, are you the Ring of Odin? Yes! Cool, uh, let's get the last one as well, because why not? And this should be the Ring of Loki. Yes, we're actually done. I don't think we are going to need more of these. I have some at the base, so let's go and check it out. I have only 10. Um, how much of these do we need? Okay, we need only 4 ingots. <laughs> okay, uh, that's plenty. The reason that I love the Ring of Odin is that it will give me 10 additional hearts. So now we have yellow hearts. I will also not take suffocation damage, hunger damage, wither damage or any type of damage. Uh, it's amazing. In the past you could have combined all the 3 rings into the uh, Ring of Aetir but that has been disabled. Which is kind of good because if you combine them all then you will have the effects of Ring of Loki and I never learned how it works. So it's mainly a problem rather than an advantage. But uh, um, we don't have to fight the Guardian of Gaia anymore, so that's nice. I also have to think of a way to fly because I can still fly like this, no? Ooh, I have to wear it. Ooh. Uh, I can make the tiara. Yeah, I can make the tiara. So with this I can also fly. Yes, that is good and we don't need you anymore. So, boop, boop. And we're done. And we have flight. Limited flight, but uh, I, I don't have to fly here that much anyway. And it's night time. Oh, and by the way, um, I never showed this to you, but this is not the actual sky. These are sky blocks from uh, open blocks. Uh, they imitate the sky, so there's actually a block up here, and it's, it's not the sky. <laughs> They're very nice when you live under the cave. You can have access to sky. 
artificial one but still all right guys it's also time to wrap up the episode this episode we managed to make the infinity ingot the infinity catalyst we managed to make the sword of the cosmos and we managed to get the tier 4 environmental tech crystals which um i was actually trying not to do that <laughs> but uh, i'm happy with that so um i think next episode we would be able to finish the pack that's good i guess uh, thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it till the next one Bye-bye.